and welcome back to Come Geeksum. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe for all future content. You know, when you go through Twitter, sometimes certain tweets catches people's eyes. And this set of tweets caught my eye. Again, mostly because it's a lot of things that people, they don't do a lot of investigation on. They don't look into things and they automatically, because someone said something, they automatically think that's right and nothing has ever been done against them. So what we're going to look at is something here. It's actually from someone on KV and this is what they've had to say. This right here needs to stop. I don't care what you think, but the people harassing anyone who spoke out against the VM chose to harass us. It is very easy to not dox or send threats, and for some, the threats are daily. They did not have to harass anyone, all in capital letters, to try and get their point across. But the thing is, though, this person is nothing but an idiot. Mostly because of what I'm about to show you now. So, this they just had to carry on as well, they said... And before anyone says some people might not understand, while that may be true for some, time and time again, VM's fans have proven they understand what they are doing. And then you add someone then, they shouldn't have harassed anyone of us or send us death threats. First of all, people who have been throwing these death threats around, everyone on I Stand With V has been asking to see these threats and from the, um, to see who, the, who has sent them. But these people, they just have not sent anything. There's nothing out there saying, well, look, this is them. All they said is, oh, well, I've been threatened. Okay, well, show us the tweets. Oh, no, I, I got rid of them. First of all, you cannot get rid of any tweet. Not you, the one that you haven't sent. If someone else sent it to you and you deleted that thread, their tweet would still exist. Your tweet wouldn't. So that's one of the things there, which is really funny. Then you had the, you know, someone here then which jumped in and stood up for V, which is a very good thing. And, and what they've said is exactly true. And your side does the same thing. To deny it is just ludicrous. KV and I stand with V have docs threatened both sides. Hell, KV had had people who were actual documented criminals or related to criminals trying to support them. The fact is, no one wants to give the white flag. And no one can have a damn normal conversation anymore without having the Vic case in their mouths. This is exactly like putting politics into our entertainment. Something that we didn't want when entertainment was supposed to be a getaway from real life. Now it is, so, you know, 2 or 2. And the coffee 2 or 2 from the uh, first one. But then you had someone reply to them, say, you threatened a judge, sit down. Again, with that judge thing, we've only seen a few people who have been very outspoken against that judge. I haven't seen any threats against that judge. Again, these supposed threats as well, people who have actually seen them supposedly say that the members are KV and they are just pretending to be someone else just so it makes people look bad. And again, these are the kind of tactics Renfamous, Mars Girl, LJ Montello, Dominique Sky, all these people, they have all used them. And when you see things like, oh, you know, people have been threatened, docs and everything else, I have been 100% against that from both sides. I am. Still am to this day. It's the worst thing you could possibly do. If you've got an issue with someone, take it up with that person and that person alone. But the way to look at all of this is, when you look at KV, they have done fake swattings. They have done fake police reports. And then when you call them out on those police reports, oh, yeah, I'm, I know, I never did them. Oh, it was my friend. Well, give us the name of the police station, whatever, you know, public records in America, you can find it. Oh, no, we didn't do it in the end. That sort of thing, you know. They've done all of that. They've done, we've even got documented actual people from KV who have said they've made up stories about Vic Mignogna. That's how bad that side is. But again, people who are supporting Monica and everyone else, they don't look into that. All they do is they follow Monica, Jamie, all these people, they follow their accounts, and if they say block someone, they do it. Because they are nothing but sheep. That is the problem. If you have an if you have an opinion about something, come speak to us. You know, if it's an opinion, we're not gonna block you and we're not gonna harass you, we're not gonna do anything. 
You want to chat with us, come and chat with us. We will chat with you. However, if facts get thrown your way and then you block, that just goes to show you haven't got a valid argument and all you're going to do is try and insult people. That's one thing that I think is actually really funny about this entire situation. You throw facts at people and they block you. That goes to show they do not like having facts thrown in them. They just like seeing what other people have said because they believe what those other people have said. But we're going to end the video there because it's a bit of a rant that's gone on a little bit longer than I expected. So if you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for future updates. Pass the video far and wide. And I'll see all you wonderful people soon.